Lasers. Who doesn't like them? I mean, boo boo, am I right? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 greatest movie lasers. Oh. For this list, we're only considering epic mechanical lasers and the scenes in which they are depicted on the big screen. So that means we'll be excluding organic ones, such as those used by the mutant Cyclops in X-Men and Superman. Number 10, it's a one-off, Iron Man 2. This scene from the second Iron Man pitted our titular superhero and war machine against an onslaught of hammer drones. Our Marvel men are surrounded while bullets and energy beams are flying all around them. To level the playing field, Iron Man clears the area with a massive laser blast that decimates the entire hammer drone army within seconds. Get down! While the scene is short in comparison to the film's other action sequences, it's both visually stunning and especially awesome. I think you should lead with that next time. Yeah, sorry boss, I can only use it once. Number 9. Robot Laser Gun Short Circuit In this sci-fi comedy flick, Nova Laboratories built a series of deadly laser shooting robot prototypes for the US military during the Cold War. However, one of these robots, which also happens to be the film's lovable protagonist, develops free will after being zapped by lightning. Though number five can use his lasers in a bind, he opts to stop his robot brothers from being used in combat. In this scene, while the robots don't zap much more than military equipment during a demonstration, they are nonetheless impressively destructive. Number eight, laser diamond gun, Congo. What the hell are you doing anyway? What am I doing? I'll tell you what I'm doing. We're getting out of here. In this climactic scene, the film's expedition crew is cornered by a horde of killer gray gorillas, against which bullets are ineffective. <laughs> Trying to escape, Dr. Peter Elliott falls and is quickly surrounded by the mine's primate protectors. His crewmates struggle to come up with a plan, and within seconds, Dr. Karen Ross turns her prototype communications laser into a deadly laser gun by jamming a rare blue diamond into it. The killer gray gorillas are then brutally zapped away. Guess this laser diamond gun is really the latest thing in communication. Tee -hee. Number seven, Gort's energy ray, the day the earth stood still. It's the beginning of a movie and the US Army has to deal with a UFO that's landed in the middle of Washington DC. We have come to visit you in peace and with goodwill. After the alien Klaatu steps forward to offer a gift, a soldier panics and shoots the humanoid. <laughs> Responding to his master's distressed situation, the robot Gort appears and breaks down the soldier's weapons with eye lasers. While brief and not exactly stunning by today's standards, these blasts were some of the earliest laser special effects in cinema history. This made the scene absolutely phenomenal for 1951, and it still holds up okay today. Number six, Shrink Ray. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Holy smokes, it's the laser. In this sci-fi family flick, crackpot inventor Wayne Zielinski invents a shrink ray to make objects smaller. Come on, shrink. While the inventor's gadget fails to do what he intends it to under his guided use, his children accidentally fix it with a stray baseball and end up being taken down a size, or two, or three, or, well, they get shrunk. Sorry, I, look, I'm positive about this, okay? The machine shrunk our kids. The Shrink Ray's laser effects were graphically stunning at the time of the film's release, and it has since become one of the most iconic movie gadgets of the 80s. Number five, experimental digitizing laser, Tron. Remember, this laser is my life's work. Don't sell anything. The special effects and computer graphics used in this 1982 cult classic were ahead of their time. Rufus to the MCP. I want to get rid of this dead weight and catch a transport beam to the game domain. And one of Tron's coolest pieces of hardware was most certainly the digitizer laser, as the gadget bridged the real world with the virtual world. 
game. You want games? I'll give you games. <laughs> Absorbing users into the virtual world one pixel at a time, the computer graphics used to achieve this laser still look pretty damn good today, and help to make the Disney sci-fi as unforgettable as it is. <laughs> Number four, Laser Watch Escape, Golden Eye. But don't stand there, get us out of here. Yes, sir. While Goldfinger had undoubtedly pointed a laser at James Bond in the past, it was not until Goldeneye that Bond was able to wield his own. We've got three minutes. In this tense scene, Bond is trapped on a train about to explode in the middle of Russia. With his partner trying to crack a computer code in the same cart, the pair only escapes after Bond uses his Q-provided laser watch to cut through an exit. 20 seconds. Mexico City, Rio, Miami. While the watch is only used for a few seconds, it instantly became a 007 classic gadget thanks to the memorable moment. Number three, Laser Grid, Resident Evil. Delivers a massive electrical charge, scrambles the mainframe and forces it to reboot. Many frightening things lurk beneath Raccoon City, including a fatal laser grid defense hallway. The sci-fi horror movie's heroine, Alice, can do little more than just watch as her colleagues are sealed in the deadly hive. One by one, the laser grid, controlled by the AI known as the Red Queen, slaughters each commando until there is a lone, agile survivor. As the computer technician scrambles to deactivate the security system's mainframe, he is all but too late as the last commando is butchered into cubed flesh. This is truly a stomach-turning scene. Number two, Proton Packs, Ghostbusters. We'll cross the streams. Excuse me, Egon. You said crossing the streams was bad. With a giant Stay Puft Marshmallow Man on the loose and New York City in imminent danger, the Ghostbusters have to think quickly. There's definitely a very slim chance we'll survive. Our heroes combine their proton packs and blast the Marshmallow Man. While those epic lasers look awesome, it took the Ghostbusters' combined effort of crossing their streams in front of a supernatural portal to thwart this gooey incarnation of an ancient god. In the end, their proton pack lasers toasted their marshmallow target. Looks like crossing the streams isn't always such a bad idea after all. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Cool! You mean I actually have frickin' sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their frickin' heads? Number one, the Death Star. Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. The Death Star plans are not in the main computer. While lightsabers are amazing, the Jedi weapons pale in comparison to the destructive power of the Death Star. Even after torture and imprisonment, Princess Leia refuses to give up the location of the Rebel base. Since you are reluctant to provide us with the location of the Rebel base, I have chosen to test this station's destructive power on your home planet of Alderaan. Frustrated and hoping to speed things up a bit, Grand Moff Tarkin demonstrates to the princess exactly what his Death Star is capable of. Commence primary ignition. With Leia's home planet of Alderaan in clear view, Grand Moff gives the command to fire the space station's laser cannon, and within seconds, Alderaan is nothing more than galactic rubble. Now, if that isn't a powerful and memorable laser, we do not know what is. Do you agree with our list? It's a one-off. What's your favorite movie laser scene? For more excellent top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Got it.